as possible, but I want them to know I'm promoting. And when they go down here, we can see we've got headlines of different webinar sessions that I've created. So if I just click on any one, doesn't matter which one I click on, we're going to see the VU player in action. Now the idea of this is not to get anybody else to look anywhere else but at the video. You can see there's no nav bars. This is just like a sales page. Nice, strong headline, and then the video. Just the video there. Okay, and that is a typical squeeze page. That is a typical way to get someone to take action very, very quickly. So here, what we have is a whole session of videos. And each one of these videos is using the VU player as the way for people to take a look at this video. Okay, and you can see that I put um, a comment box from Facebook in between each one of those. Now, the good reason for doing that is that I'm going to get other people to create content for me as they're watching my videos. As they see what's going on in the videos, they're going to make a comment. They're going to want to share it. They're going to want to say something nice. Yeah, they might want to say something not so nice. Who cares? They're going to create content for me on my web page. So this is why I've set this out the way that I have. Now, this is the VU player in action right here. And you can see I've got a watermark in that corner there. That watermark could be in one of five different places that I can put it. We can go to the corners, to the middle, or right there in the middle. Okay. What you'll also see underneath is the share buttons with the Facebook, the Google Plus, and the Twitter. Someone watches this video, they click there, instantly you've got the like. Instantly other people are going to get reference to your videos. Now some other great things that it does is I could have put a splash on here, a really really big splash and it also does things that are quite magical inside here that I'm going to show you right now. Ways that you can get people to take action very very quickly. So this is lovely. Again you can create any size of video that you want. Also what I want to show you here is this bar at the bottom. Now this is a YouTube video directly from YouTube. I've uploaded my training session into YouTube and then I've used the VU player to show that video. You cannot see the YouTube logo here.